Gotta move in the spirit. 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 I'm telling you, that's the first show you. Give me Colossians chapter 1. Give me Colossians 1 to 16. I'm gonna show you what it means to be made in this image. To be made in this image isn't like this twin thing, right? Because if this is a, a twin thing, then we should all look alike, right? There shouldn't be so called black people, Chinese people, white people, Mexican people. It shouldn't be no distinction. If it means to just look like each other, that's not what it's talking about. So, why in the Bible, when they, everybody was climbing not, up, they, they're building a the temple, uh, whatever, to reach the heavens. And then he what? He confused everybody so they want to understand each other, right? He confused what? The people that was coming all. Uh, what did he confuse? Huh? What did he confuse? Their tongue. Their, their language. language. Their language. Right. Yeah. That is, that's not their depiction. That's not what they look like. But still, it's not the same, the same thing. Still. Can you be a white man and speak? Can you be a white man and speak Spanish? Yeah. Can you be, can you be a black man and speak French? Yeah. It don't make you a Frenchman, does it? No. Okay, so just because the languages are confused doesn't has anything to do with your physical appearance. I'm gonna time, show you what it, it means. Time to do everything. Well, right? show you Colossians chapter three, verse nine. Bring it out. Lie not to one another. What the Bible say? Lie, lie not, not to one, one another. The Bible says. You got a white man. Look at this. You got a white man right here, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Brother, go on. Brother, come here real quick. You got a white man right there, man. Okay. No, 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 no. Cut that out. Cut that smoke out. Step on this image right now. Step on it. Nah, step on that image, man. This man's talking about we have a white image. Man, no, no. He don't ask no questions, man. Right. When people ask Christ questions, he gave them a goddamn answer. Ask me a question. We have this image to get and get white supremacy out of the mind of so-called black people, man. Because a lot of black people come up here, they see this image, they think it's God. And you know what I do? I step on it, man. That's right! Because in the Bible, Jesus Christ is a black revolutionary. And he died for black Latinos, man. Read that Colossians. Colossians 3, verse 9. Bring it out! He said he made in the image of God, man. I'm going to show you what that means. Read. Lie not one to another. The Bible says what? Lie not, not one, one to another. another. Lie not one to another. Come on. Seeing that ye have put off the old man. They have done what? Ye have put off, off the, the old man. man. put off the old man. Come on. With his deeds. Uh-huh. And I put on the new man. Uh-huh. Which is re which is renewed in knowledge. In what? In, in knowledge. knowledge. You renewed. The new man is renewed in knowledge. Come on. After the image, after what? After, after the image, image, come on, of him that created and him. After the image okay. of him who created him. Okay. So to put on the image of God, you have to do something physical. It's not something that you do verbal. It's something physical. It's by keeping God's commandments. So why is Even it? So why is it? God. Why is it physical uh, appearance in the Bible? You say hell wool. If you say it's physical. So why is that the Bible? No, listen, you ask me one question. I'm gonna ask you another question. Why is it hair of wool? Right? That's like an image, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, so every song, do every black man have woolly hair? Yes. Every black man has woolly hair. Yeah. What about our old boy Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson doesn't have woolly hair. After his hair got burned, what happened? Man, so he didn't have the image of God no more. Man, you heard a perm? He, he lost the he lost the image of God. Did you hear a perm? Bro? It's a perm hair. It's perm hair, bro. woolly hair. No, yes or no? No, yes or no? It's not. Go ahead, read that scripture, man. Root to the three, three verse thirty-five. Bring it out. This is our God. Read that scripture. This is our God. What about to say? This is our God. This is our God. Read it. And there shall none no other be accounted of what in comparison wait, wait, of him. What, what did the Bible say? And there shall none other be accounted in comparison of him. Why is he talking like that, dude? He has found out like all the way of knowledge. Like what did the Bible say? He has found out all the way of knowledge. He found out all the way of knowledge. It's not a physical thing. Being the image of God is not a physical so thing. So why is physical what thing is in the Bible? It deals with knowledge. Oh, it's about knowing the knowledge of God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the way 
of knowledge. All the way of knowledge. All the way of knowledge. Come on. And have given it unto it unto Jacob. Unto his, who? Unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. Unto everyone. Unto, unto Jacob. Everyone to be the image. Unto Jacob. Unto Jacob. Come on. His servant. And to Israel. His. Who? And to Israel. And to Israel. Come on. His beloved. His beloved. So only the children of Israel, the so-called Black Latinos, were the only people who could have the image of God. If the image of God is only a physical thing, then how can all Black Latinos uh, have hey. the image of God? Hey, we don't hey. all look like each other, hey, man. God bless y'all, man. Brother, brother, the brother Brian, man, he lost, man. Oh, you bro, right. God is nice, man. Hey, come on, no, 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 I never said that. I never said that. You know what I'm saying? I never said that. Yeah, you did. That's not what I said. I said. You want to take? No, 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 no. You gotta let me respond. Let me respond. Oh, let me respond. Let me respond. Let me respond. You said. Let me respond, brother Garney. Let me respond. How old is you? Let me respond, How old is you? Let me respond How old you brother Garney. He ain't gonna respond to you. I'm the only one speaking. So now. Oh, you're a slave. Let me ask you a question. Now, don't disrespect the brother, man. So now we all slaves here in America. So now. When it comes to the image of God, this is what I said. It's not only, it cannot be only a physical thing. Does God have a physical image? Yes. But do every so-called black and black Latino person look like each other? Man, no. You, you but you know, have the same melody. You should be like, to the oh, ground, man, you hold deep. Ain't it right, bro? Ain't oh, it right. So let me ask you a question. What color is Jesus Christ? Read it in the Bible. I'm asking you. No, read it. No, I'm asking you. I know, you. I know. You read it. Then tell me. Since you the reader, read it. And die, all, all, all that shit. Let's do that. Give me an answer. No, 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 no. I want you to read it. Why are you being scared, brother? I'm not scared. Then give me no. an answer. I was raised in the church. Give me an answer. Tell me give me an answer. I went to a Christian college. What color was he? What color was Christ? Read it. No, what, what color? Read it. Read it. Tell me the chapter verse. Talk. Nah. Tell me the chapter verse. Huh? Brother Garnet, man. Uh, you what know, color is Christ? You know I don't know the damn first, man. Come on, man. Okay, just tell me what color was he then? It's G and the Jews. I don't know what that is. What am I over here? I'm over here. Because, no, I, I know. Well, but see, you can't help my name, Craig. Huh? I'm saying, you know, I'm on my name, you me? But I know that shit, all that is not the truth, bro. Okay, can you just deal with that? What, you what said, color okay, is okay. Christ? You said Jesus. Give me an answer. Give me an answer. Hold up. Okay, you said no, Jesus. Give me an answer first. Hold up. Hold up. You said Jesus. No, no, right? Ask me a question. You answer were no J's back in the day. No, no, no. Give me, give me an answer. Okay. You know what God says answer the 28, man. You know what you're talking about. Hey, you don't know what you're talking about, about, bro. Was the Bible originally in English? Hey, shut up. Don't disrespect me. I asked you a question. But you tell me I'm asking you a little question. You disrespect me, tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Was the Bible originally in English? And I don't like the way you read this shit. Oh, God. Oh God, I don't like the way you read. 28. Hey, let me see how you read. Isaiah 28, verse 8. Bring it uh, out. 28, verse 9. 28, verse 9. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Where are they? There you go. Okay. 28, verse 12. Uh -huh. To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Uh -huh. And this is the refreshing. Verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. For uh -huh. precept must be upon precept. The Bible says the verse has to be precept upon precept. Come on. Precept upon precept. Come on. Line upon line. Come on. Line upon line. Come on. Here a little and there a little. Read. Forward stammering lips. What did the Bible say? Forward stammering lips. One more time. Forward stammering lips. Garden, that's why you be messing up. You don't be listening, man. Read that last part again. Always stammering lips. With stammering lips, come on. And another tongue. Another what? Another, another tongue. tongue. Another tongue. Why are you looking at me when you say that? If I read this in Hebrew, there won't be a J when I say Christ's name. Right? But who out here? Do you read Hebrew? How do you know I don't? I'm asking you a question. I don't know. Do you? Yes or no? They're my last lifetime. Huh? Do you believe in reincarnation? No, I'm asking you a question right now, Barney. Do you believe in reincarnation? Brother, you're not respectful, man. You're not asking my questions. I answer, I try bro, to answer you read for the Bible that been written, rewritten a, a whole million times, bro. Huh? What about the lost shop? What, 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 what the lost book? What has to be rewritten? Okay, so what you talking about? You don't know what you talking about. No, but just because it's rewritten, you, you brother, 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 you must be rewritten. You must be respectful, man. I'm respectful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me respond when you ask me. Okay, okay, I'm respectful, though. Don't disrespect me like that, bro. Hold on, hold on. 
Are you gonna let me respond, brother? Are you gonna let me respond, brother? Respond, but don't get stuck on me. Nah, you just like me. Nah, you just let me cut me out. Alright, but we'll have a peaceful dialogue. That's all we're trying to have, right? So you you told me is that we're we're going off because we're reading it. We're saying Jesus' name, and there was no J, right? We know that though. But how many people actually know Jesus Christ's true name? You just saw the whole thing you just said. How you know people? that. There wasn't no James, but y'all still said Jesus. I asked you a question. You didn't answer my question. Well, what was the question? How many people out here actually know his true name? I don't know these people out here. I, huh? I, I walk up by myself. I sleep by myself. I'm okay. home by myself. So what is Christ's real name? Huh? What is Christ's real name? I don't know. So if I didn't say if I didn't say Jesus Christ, which you're familiar with, then how would you understand what I'm talking about? Right. Oh God. I understand that, but still, go ahead. Answer: Why is it Jesus when a whole lot of people saying Yahshua, all that Yahweh? I'm you know saying with the wild, which was out there back then. Mm -hmm. Nobody say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the way. No problem. No problem. The terminology for Jesus it just goes back to the Greek, right? The original name. Give me the book of Acts chapter seven. You said terminology. The, the original terminology for Jesus, it goes back to the Greek. So what's your terminology? So what's the terminology? So, so, so I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Hold on. But what's the terminology of your name? The God strengthens. I just answered your question, man. Give me the book of Jeremiah. I'm talking about your real name. There's 48. I won't say 48. What's your real name? I just said it. Brother, what's your name, man? Hey, what up here? We know each other, man. We don't know you, man. What's I don't know you. I don't know him neither. I don't know him. Okay, what's your name? Oh, what's your name? We know. We know each other. I oh, know. What's your name? Captain Montessa. I don't believe that. Huh? I don't believe that, bro. You okay, lie. It don't matter. Bro. What's your name? I don't got no name. Huh? That's the question. Uh, what can I call you? Uh, brother. Brother. All right, brother. Go ahead. Hey, brother. So now I'm gonna show you something, bro. Go ahead, bro. You ask me why? Uh, why oh, you yes, sir. Why you your scripture? You ask me why do we call it Jesus? The, the reason why is because the word Jesus is actually name, translated from Hebrew to English would have been Joshua. Because when you go to Joshua, Acts, yeah, when yeah. You go to the book of Acts chapter seven, they don't say Joshua, they say Jesus. Joshua. Because the New Testament, hold on, the New Testament is translated from the Greek into the English. So what's the what's what the with the lost book? Know about the lost book? Oh, you gotta tell me what lost book you're talking about. I don't know. You know it. You got to tell me what last person's talking about. Hey, hey, All right, man. you found it? Yo, I got to go. I got to do something. I got to go, man. Nice to me y'all, boy. Man. Wait, hold on one second, brother. Let me get this verse for you before you leave. Huh? Let me get this verse for you before you, before you leave. Oh, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared, man. Darn it. Darn it. Don't run away, man. Yo, brother, darn it, man. Don't run away, man. Darn it. Don't be scared, man. Take a flyer, at least. Brother, darn it. It's all right. You know what, brother, darn it? You was asking a good question. You was asking a good question. So he asked the question, he said, why do we say Jesus as his true name? Why do we say Jesus when there was no J? And he's right. At least 400 years ago, the J appeared in the English, in the old English as if an uppercase I with a hook, man. But it was harder to have a conversation with him because with him, he was going from here to there, to right, there, right. there, to there, right? right? But let's simplify it, simplify it, right? Let's see what the Bible says, go ahead. Acts of the 7 verse 45. Bring it out. Which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus. With who? With Jesus. Now was Christ the one who brought the children of Israel into the land in the wilderness? No. Right? If you think that, then go back to the Christian church, man. Because you don't know nothing. Right? The man that we went into the land with was Joshua. Joshua. But it's translated as Jesus. In Acts chapter 7, because the scripture is being translated from the Greek into the English, man. Right? If Joshua's name, if Christ's name was translated from the Hebrew into the English, the closest name would be Joshua. Right? That's why when you go into the Arkhafa, it says Jesus, the son of name, right. it's referring to Joshua. Right. Right? Let's get one more thing. I, I feel the good of Lucy. Brothers don't have no patience, man. Ain't no patience, man. Give me that. Give me that James 1 and 12. 2 and 12. 2 and 12. 1 and 19. 1 and 19? Yeah. Damn, yeah. yeah, I'm getting old, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old, man. Good, Let's get this. <laughs> Let me read it. James chapter 1, verse 19. Bring, Bring it out! 
Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. What did Bible say? Let, let every, every man, man be swift to hear. hear. Uh huh. Slow to speak. Come on. Slow to wrath. Come on. For the wrath of man worketh not righteousness, the righteousness of God. Right. So let every man be swift to hear, man, and slow to speak. That's why our, our old black grandmothers used to say what? You got two ears and one mouth for a reason, man. <laughs> two times you should be hearing, and one time you should be talking, man. Right. You know? But go ahead and read that. Etymology. Jesus. The etymology of the, the name Jesus itself. Go ahead. Jesus. Come on. A personal name of the Christian Savior. From the late 12th century. Come on. It is the Greek form of Joshua. What is it? It is the, the Greek, Greek form of, of Joshua. Joshua. Well, that's what happens when you don't have patience, man. That's why patience is one of the fruit of the spirits. Right. Because when you have patience, when you ask questions, you're going to get an answer, man. Right. But you have to have patience, man. Read. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots. Spreading the word in them streets, but my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire This world gon' take us